Ideogram is an amazing AI art generation tool that specifically works great for creative e-commerce sellers like print on demand, apparel, and digital design sellers. So today I wanna walk you through a detailed breakdown of the subscription plans and some of the different features you can get on some of the higher tiered plans. Let's do it. If you haven't experienced Ideogram yet, I wanna just scroll through some of the community designs uh, that are listed on their website right over at ideogram.ai. And one of the things that Ideogram really excels in is interpreting text. This was really, I think the first tool to come out that was really able to, you could put in text in the prompt and it would give you something that was pretty accurate. So you can see it really generates some beautiful designs. It does really well with t-shirt styles and different you know print products like that and also logos and different things like that but it can do a variety of things you see all kinds of different styles uh, on my screen here so it really really is a very cool tool and it's also really simple to use if you're somebody who's maybe used midjourney or another tool and you find it really complex you might want to give ideogram a look because it's very very simple so now that you kind of know what it is let's jump into the plans ideogram has three main plans they're going to have the free plan the basic plan and the plus plan and there's a variety of different features that you get on these different plans. You can either choose to pay annually, which is gonna make the basic plan $7 per month and the plus plan $16 per month, but you're gonna pay that in a whole year in full. Or you can go with the monthly option and that's gonna bring the basic plan up to $8 per month and the plus plan up to $20 per month. The first thing I would let you know about these plans is that the free plan is actually still very useful. This isn't one of those softwares where if you get on the free plan, you're gonna be, you know, not, not be able to really get anything out of it. You're still gonna be able to generate some pretty amazing designs. And you'll still be able to use those uh, in your business, you know, put those on products and different things like that. So that's the first thing I wanna let you know is that the free plan is a great place to start. Specifically what's included with the free plan, and it is pretty basic, it's the standard generation of 100 images per day and 25 prompts per day. So you're gonna be limited to how many prompts you can put in and how many images you can generate per day. Now, if this is confusing to you, let me explain it a little bit more. Every time you put in a prompt, Ideogram is gonna give you four images back. And so that means if you put in 25 prompts, you're going to get 100 images. So you're really only going to be able to do 25 you know, uh, text prompts per day and that's going to give you 100 images. On the free plan, you're also only going to be able to download your images in the compressed JPEG fi uh, file format. So there are lots of free tools out there like Vectorizer AI, the one that I've showed here on the channel, uh, where you can upscale these images and download them in a higher quality uh, file. But it is really nice on the higher plans to be able to get a better quality image in a PNG format where you just download it right from Ideogram. So that's something to know that on the free plan, you're only going to get that JPEG file. It's gonna be a pretty low quality file. Looking over at the basic plan, you're going to add a ton of features. So let's start with the generations. The standard generation that you got on the free plan now goes 4X to 400 images per day and 100 prompts per day. You also have the opportunity to pay a little bit extra to get priority generation, which is gonna make sure you're always kind of bumping to the front of the line to get quicker uh, art out of your generations. As I mentioned earlier, you're going, going to get that upgraded PNG uh, quality to download, and you're also gonna get priority access to new features and improvements. So when they release new things, you're gonna get quicker access to those. The other big feature you get as a basic user is the Ideogram Editor. This is a newer feature that they've released that I wanna talk about for just a moment. And you can see the check mark here that you get this on the basic plan. This is one of the big things you get when you upgrade from the free plan. <laughs> Hey, by the way, did you know I have a free PDF style guide that gives you 171 different words and styles that you can use in your AI prompts to get better art generations? If you wanna download it completely free, just go over to kerryegler.com slash prompts. Again, it'll give you 171 different words and different styles that you can put into your AI art generation tools like Ideogram to get just better overall art. So go download that for free at kerryegler.com slash prompts. Now I want to save the demo, uh, the detailed demo for another video. I definitely wanna show you this in another video upcoming, but looking at their, their Twitter account or their X account over on Ideogram, you can get a pretty good idea of what this 
editor actually does. And I think it does do some useful things. Now I've been playing with it a little bit and let me be clear, it's very basic. There's not a ton of different features and different things you can do, but the results you can get out of it can be pretty phenomenal. So you can see here what they're doing in this video. Let's actually go back to the beginning of this video and they're showing you what you can do with the editor. So you click on this little button. Actually, let's make it a little bit bigger here. Okay, so you click on this editor button right here. And one of the things that they show you here is that you can throw in a very basic like color palette. So you can see it's doing red, it's doing gray, right? And then it's adding a few little dots. That could be a sun, it's adding green for a frog, right? And as it adds that in, you can see the image weight they've got on three, and then they put in their prompt, it's going to give them this frog and this sunset that somewhat matches what they originally put in. You can see the frog is in the bottom right and the sun is right where they put it in their, in their, in their, uh, in, in their editor image. So then what they do is they actually write in text. They just hand write it with a brush and then they go ahead and remix that, uh, that image that they already generated. And now it's actually going to add the text in in that spot and it's using even a cursive font. So this could be pretty interesting when you're wanting to tweak things, you're, you're wanting to get a certain layout, a certain composition in your generations. Pretty cool. Moving up to the plus plan, now you're going to get private generation. So you have to be all the way on that highest tiered plan to get private generations, which means they're not gonna be shown to everybody else. You also get access to that ideogram editor. You're also gonna get priority generation, so going from 1,600 images per month to 4,000 images per month, which means you're going from 400 prompts to 1,000 prompts per month. Uh, standard generation, you're gonna get unlimited on that one. Same pricing if you wanna do priority generation, and then from there, you're gonna have the same quality, the priority access to new features and improvements. But the big thing that this tier adds, the biggest thing, is this new image upload feature. Now again, similar to the editor feature, I wanna demo this in more detail in another video, but let's go over to X and actually look at, on the ideogram uh, page, let's look at this image upload feature. Now, we've seen something similar in other AI tools where you can upload images that can uh, steer the direction of your prompts based off of that image. But I think the ideogram one, specifically the text, could be a really, really a game changer in this realm. So you can see right here, we've got another video on their X page, and we'll just go back to the beginning. And this is demoing the image upload tool. You now have this little icon where you can upload an image. You see them upload this gradient, which is a very basic image here. Then they're going to put in a prompt, and it's going to give them a generation based off of that prompt, but also using the influence of that image. So you can see what they get here. It's going to pop it out just like that. So you can see the color palette that they use, the layout of that gradient combined with their prompt gave them a really, really cool result. Now, one other thing, which I think is, I think this is the best part of it. So definitely wanna watch this, is that they show an example here and they say, this is particular, particularly useful for typography with longer text. So essentially, what this does in theory is you can upload an image like this, a basic image with just text on it, I love you to the moon and back, you can use that as part of your prompt and it will help your text be more accurate uh, when you type it in. So if this works as it, as it kind of shows here, which they're not giving much detail, if it does work in this way, it could be a game changer when you're wanting to do those long text, uh, you know, long paragraphs and different things in your designs, or maybe more complex words and different things. This could be awesome just to be able to upload the text and be able to connect that in your prompt. So that was everything included on every single plan. I hope you enjoyed this detailed breakdown and this helps you decide what plan is right for you with Ideogram. See you next week.